The data you're about to see comes from GitHub's Octaverse 2025 report, the most comprehensive analysis of developer activity on the planet. This isn't based on surveys or opinions. It reflects the real activity of developers on GitHub. And the scale is impressive. The 2025 report analyzes data from 180 million developers, 630 million repositories, and over 1 billion contributions. This is the most complete view of the global developer ecosystem ever assembled. So why does this data matter? First, it has truly global coverage, every country, every time zone. Second, it's purely data-driven with real statistical significance. And third, it comes directly from GitHub, the source of truth for open source development. Think of this report as the census of the developer world, backed by the largest data set of coding activity ever compiled. Developer activity reached record levels in 2025. Momentum accelerated in early 2025 and continued strong throughout the year. Developers created more than 230 new repositories every minute, merged over 43 million pull requests each month, and pushed nearly 1 billion commits in 2025, including a record-breaking 100 million in August alone. To put that in perspective, in early 2022, monthly commits were around 40 million. This year, they hit 100 million, a 2.5 times increase in just three years. Overall, contributions to public and open source projects exceeded 1 billion, a new GitHub milestone. But here's what's interesting about where this activity is happening. 81.5% of contributions were in private repositories, only 18.5% in public ones. And private repos grew faster too, 33% year over year compared to 19% for public. This signals something important. Enterprise and team level collaboration is thriving on GitHub. Meanwhile, Public repositories, though smaller in volume, supply the libraries, models, and workflows that power the broader ecosystem. It's a healthy dynamic, private innovation building on public foundations, accelerated by AI. Let's look at the top 10 developer countries in the world. The 2025 chart shows the leading countries by the number of developers with GitHub accounts. The United States leads with 28 million developers, thanks to Silicon Valley, tech giants like Google, Meta, and Microsoft, and the world's largest concentration of venture capital. India comes in second with almost 22 million developers, quickly approaching the top spot. The country contributed the most new developers in 2025, but we'll cover this in more depth later. China holds third place at 10.7 million, surprisingly low for the world's largest population. Platform restrictions and local alternatives like Giti explain the gap. Brazil is the Latin American powerhouse with almost 7 million developers. Sao Paulo is now a top 10 global tech hub. Then we have the United Kingdom and Japan, followed by Germany, Indonesia, Russia, and Canada. All of these countries continue to hold their places in the top 10. Now let's look at growth from 2020 to 2025. This is where it gets interesting. The United States started with just 10 million developers in 2020 and nearly tripled that number by 2025. That's an explosion of developer talent, despite fears that AI would replace programmers. But here's the real story. Three countries nearly quintupled their developer populations in just five years. India grew from 4.5 million to 22 million developers, almost five times growth, driven by external developer demand and supportive internal policies. Indonesia went from 900,000 to 4.4 million developers, a truly remarkable achievement, primarily due to its younger developer population and expanded access. Brazil also continued to expand its developer talent substantially over the last five years, driven mainly by increased investment in fintech and open banking. Japan surprised everyone with 3.75 times growth, rising from 1.2 million to 4.5 million developers. Not bad for a mature economy. Germany and Russia both tripled their developer counts. The one outlier is China. Despite having the world's largest population, China only grew 1.75 times, from 6.1 million to 10.7 million developers. Platform restrictions are clearly limiting growth. The pattern couldn't be clearer. The global developer population is surging everywhere except where platforms are restricted. Countries with young populations, expanding internet access, and open platforms are the ones reshaping the entire developer landscape. This year, something historic happened. India became the number one source of new developers worldwide. India, what took you so long, right? So, of the 36.2 million worldwide developers who joined GitHub in 2025, 5.2 million came from India. That's 14% of all global growth from a single country. The US added 3.2 million. In other words, India added 60% more than the US. 
which tells us that the outsourcing story is alive and well. But raw numbers only tell part of the story. Look at what Indian developers are building. AI contribution growth from India hit 105% year over year. The US, 55%. India isn't just producing more JavaScript and Python developers. It's producing developers who are defining the future of artificial intelligence. Here's the historical trajectory that should get your attention. In 2020, India had 4.5 million developers. Today, almost 22 million. That's nearly five times growth in five years. No other major economy comes close to that acceleration. Now, look at GitHub's projection to 2030. The crossover happens around 2027, when India should overtake the United States in total developer count based on the GitHub's projections. And by 2030, there should be 57.5 million Indian developers versus 38 million American. One in every three new developers globally will be Indian. In other words, GitHub experts bet on the continued trend of the global companies outsourcing their services to India. But cost is not the only driver here. Demographic is another one. India has 600 million people under 25. Besides, the infrastructure in India is booming. The mobile internet reached 800 million users in 2025. Finally, the government policy of the digital initiatives like Digital India and Skill India helps too. We see an Indian tech industry that's evolved from outsourcing center to innovation hub. Bangalore now rivals Silicon Valley for AI startups. The center of gravity in software development is shifting, and it's shifting east. In August 2025, a decade-long era came to an end. TypeScript overtook both JavaScript and Python to become the number one language on GitHub. This is the first major language leadership change since Python dethroned Java. A new king has been crowned. Let's look at the numbers. TypeScript hit 2.63 million monthly active contributors. Python came in second at 2.59 million. And JavaScript, the former king, dropped to 2.15 million. TypeScript leads Python by about 42,000 contributors. But raw counts only tell part of the story. Look at the growth rates. TypeScript grew over 1 million contributors in 2025 alone. That's 66.6% year-over-year growth. Python grew 48.8%. JavaScript? Just 24.8%. Now here's the key insight. The JavaScript and TypeScript ecosystems combined are actually larger than Python. TypeScript isn't replacing JavaScript. It's becoming the typed layer on top of it. And that combined ecosystem is massive. So why did TypeScript win? GitHub's report points to two main drivers. First, AI-assisted development strongly favors typed ecosystems. GitHub explicitly links TypeScript's rise to copilot adoption, arguing that typed languages make agent-assisted coding more reliable in production. Static types give LLMs and copilots clearer constraints, reducing ambiguity compared with plain JavaScript. The types help AI tools catch mistakes earlier and generate more accurate code. Second, modern JavaScript frameworks now push developers into TypeScript by default. Nearly every major front-end framework scaffolds new apps in TypeScript. Next.js 15, SvelteKit 2, Quick, Astro 3. They all either recommend or default to TypeScript when generating new projects. Greenfield web work is increasingly TypeScript first. And there's a third factor. TypeScript combines JavaScript's ubiquity with added type safety. It's attractive for both new projects and gradual migration of legacy JavaScript code bases. You get the massive NPM ecosystem, plus the robustness needed for large applications. But here's the feedback loop that's accelerating everything. 80% of new developers now use GitHub Copilot in their first week. These AI tools work better with TypeScript. This drives more TypeScript adoption which makes AI tools even better at TypeScript. And the cycle continues. The AI ecosystem has exploded. 1.1 million repositories now use LLM SDKs. The surge in AI dashboards and lightweight app frontends mapped directly onto a sharp rise in TypeScript repositories. So where does this leave us? TypeScript is number one overall and is the default for modern web apps and AI UI development. Python still dominates AI and ML model training. But for everything from React frontends to AI-powered applications, the typed era has arrived. This year's top open source projects reveal a fascinating split. On one side, the rise of AI infrastructure, model runtimes, inference engines, and orchestration frameworks that power the next generation of intelligent applications. On the other, enduring ecosystems that have earned developer trust over years of consistent evolution, code editors, game engines, and home automation platforms that remain essential regardless of the AI wave. Let's explore the 10 projects that captured the most contributor attention in 2025. Number one, VLLM project slash VLLM. The leading open source project proves that inference speed is the new bottleneck everyone's racing to solve. Born from UC Berkeley's Sky Computing Lab, 
VLLM introduced paged attention, a memory management technique that fundamentally changes how GPUs handle large language models. The result? Inference speeds that can be 24 times faster than naive implementations. Number 2. Microsoft slash VS Code This project needs no introduction, but its continued dominance deserves attention. At over 180,000 stars, it remains the most starred code editor in history. What's striking is that a decade after launch, Microsoft still ships monthly updates with meaningful improvements. The editor has evolved from a lightweight alternative to a full development environment with built-in containers, remote development, and AI-assisted coding. Number 3. OpenAI slash Codex OpenAI's Codex CLI represents a philosophical shift. What if AI coding assistants lived in your terminal, not the cloud? Built in Rust for speed and reliability, Codex runs entirely on your local machine. No API keys, no cloud dependencies, no data leaving your laptop. Codex's embrace of the model context protocol suggests OpenAI sees a future of interoperable AI tools rather than walled gardens. Number four, Hugging Face slash Transformers. Hugging Face Transformers has become the lingua franca of machine learning. With over a million pre-trained models on the hub, it's the central nervous system connecting researchers, practitioners, and applications worldwide. Number five, Godot Engine slash Godot. The project's rise in popularity is a story of perfect timing meeting genuine need. When industry consolidation made developers nervous about commercial engine licensing, Godot offered an MIT-licensed alternative with zero revenue share. You own your games completely, a proposition that resonated with indie developers and studios alike. The project evolved into a genuinely capable engine for both 2D and 3D development. The Godot Foundation ensures this remains a community-driven project, not a corporate one. Number 6. Home Assistant slash Core This project answers a question many smart home owners eventually ask. Why does my house need the cloud? Core is the definitive local-first home automation platform. Everything runs on your hardware. A Raspberry Pi is enough. No subscription fees, no data harvested, no service shutdowns bricking your devices. Number 7. Olama The project represents the democratization of large language models. Before Olama, running models locally meant wrestling with dependencies, quantization schemes, and GPU configurations. Olama reduced it to a single command, Olama run Llama 3. Suddenly, anyone with a decent laptop could experiment with AI privately. Number 8. ggmlorg slash llama.cpp if Olama is the friendly interface, Llama.cpp is the engine underneath, and much more besides. Georgi Gurganov's pure C slash C++ implementation proved that large language models don't require massive infrastructure. Through aggressive quantization, down to 1.5 bits per weight, Llama.cpp runs capable models on consumer hardware, even CPUs without GPUs. Llama.cpp has become foundational infrastructure. Countless local AI tools build on its inference engine. It democratized what was once exclusively enterprise technology. Number 9. Volk Engine slash Verl. This project represents the next frontier, training AI models to follow instructions through reinforcement learning. Backed by ByteDance, Alibaba, and UC Berkeley, Verl enables RLHF and other post-training techniques at scale, from 7 billion to 671 billion parameters. It already powers Dubao 1.5 Pro. ByteDance's production model. Number 10. Expo slash Expo. This project closes our list by solving a perennial problem. Why is mobile development still so painful? Expo has become the default way to build React native applications. One code base deploys to iOS, Android, and web. The SDK handles camera, notifications, and authentication. EAS manages builds and updates. The pattern is clear. AI infrastructure projects are capturing explosive growth but developer ecosystems built on years of trust continue to thrive. The most successful open-source projects in 2025 share one trait. They remove friction. Whether that's running models locally, building games without licensing anxiety, or automating homes without cloud dependency, open-source momentum extends well beyond any single trend. It's the foundation everything else builds upon. Finally, we couldn't close out this video without looking at the impact of AI and LLMs. One of the most significant trends the GitHub Octaverse 2025 report highlighted. A year ago, many teams were still evaluating whether to bring AI into their workflows. That evaluation period is largely over. More than 1.1 million public repositories now integrate an LLM SDK, tools like OpenAI, Anthropic, and open source alternatives. 70% of these projects were created in the past 12 months alone, 
reflecting how quickly generative AI has moved from novelty to standard practice. The broader numbers confirm the trend. AI-related repositories on GitHub now exceed 4.3 million, nearly doubling in under two years. This includes everything from research experiments to production applications, from individual projects to enterprise tooling. The shift is also visible in how new developers are entering the field. Roughly 80% of new GitHub users try Copilot within their first week on the platform. AI-assisted development is becoming the baseline experience, rather than something developers adopt later in their careers. Looking ahead, a new category is taking shape, agents. These are autonomous systems designed to execute multi-step tasks with minimal human intervention. Early applications are appearing across code review, testing, deployment, and documentation workflows. The infrastructure is being built to support them. Six of the 10 fastest growing repositories this year were AI infrastructure projects, runtimes, orchestration frameworks, and efficiency tooling that agents will rely on to operate reliably at scale. We're still in the early stages. The patterns emerging today are laying the groundwork for how software development will evolve in the years ahead. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the Coding Tech YouTube channel. See you in the next video.